I'm doing some formulas. This covers if statements and the lookup. What we're doing here, I have instructions here. What I'm saying, if this is worth more than $500, 25%, otherwise 10%, that means $1,000 is insured for $250. Something worth $100 is insured for $10. I click on formulas, logical, if. If it's ever blocking, just move it. So I want to say if this is greater than 500, it's saying false here. True. Value of the artwork times 25%. Shows the number to the right. If false... We pull it down. If we want to make it look like currency, we all know that. Or if you just want decimal points, I click on the comma. Cubic feet. I got the assumptions here. It's equal this times this divided by 144. Pull it down. Now, what we're going to do here is to determine the cost of the box, the shipping cost. We're doing a VLOOKUP based on this data. There are three columns. One, column two, column three. The box cost is in column two. The shipping cost is in column three. To determine that, we go on the Formulas tab, we click on Lookup and Reference, VLOOKUP. The lookup value, the cost of the box is based on the cubic feet. So I click in here, H6. The table array, do not include the captions, just the raw data. The box collapses while we're doing it. We want this to be a constant, absolute, F4, immediately, dollar signs show up, column index number, the second column for the cost of the box, OK. Shipping cost, we can drag this all down later. The shipping cost, again, the VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP means vertical. The value, the cubic feet. Table array, again we highlight. Next one is we want to know the column number. It is column number three. Finally, we want to do the total cost. You'll be adding up the insurance plus the cost of the box plus this. If you want to format things, I could just first, I'm going to drag it down. Then I'm going to go on to the Home tab. I'll do the commas. I want currency at the top and the bottom I would just go like this click on the dollar sign and if I don't want the dollar signs there reduce that down and then if I want to do this down below again we could highlight down here there's a couple of quick statistics to do here, and I'll show you a quick shortcut. If I click on the auto sum, I click on sum, I don't want that bottom row. I want to do the average, average, highlight these here, and then watch this. I pull this over to the far right. 
you're going to see that the cubic feet is wrong. I just click on the comma, get make it down to one decimal point. This way you've got the project completed. If you want to keep the uh, decimal points the same, over there, and then over here, and here. Again, just add the decimal points. The railroad tracks, you know what that means. It's too narrow. We're all done.